Ken Paxson. We've had him on a bunch of times. And he's talking about the Texas situation. And can you, from your perspective, what did you hear him say? And were you troubled or nervous about it at all? Well, yes, because the way I phrased the question was, Ken, um, you know, when earlier this week, when um, they said we couldn't enforce our laws, we had a lot of Texans that were like, to hell with that. And I said, you know, there's an old saying, don't mess with Texas. And I think a lot of people take that, you know, uh, to heart. And how do you keep a people calm and and on the right path when uh, they feel like they're being railroaded? And um, he didn't give me calming advice. Uh, <laughs> uh, he said, well, we have the next election. He said, but um, in the end, if you don't have a rule of law if you if you have a a court system or a country that says you cannot protect your own people then you don't have a constitutional republic anymore and we're back to the declaration of independence um and requiring people to stand up for it okay um now i don't want to go all bloodbath here right because he did talk about the election um, and he did say stand up. He didn't say go to war. But I walked away from that interview feeling as though uh, that was a historic comment. Maybe, you know, maybe not the top of the page, but at least a footnote kind of comment of where we are. When you have the attorney general of Texas, um, who's very smart very well spoken he's an attorney he knows he watches his words when you are down to even making mention of the declaration of independence to texans um that shows we are uh, way down the road way down the road in uh, unsafe territories and i want to make it very clear unless you want to live like they live in that beautiful island of haiti <laughs> you don't want a civil war. No. You don't want that. Yeah. You I, don't want a society to break down. Yeah, civil war, uh, bad. But we're going to go with bad on that one. I mean, you, you look at Haiti, they don't even have good weapons in Haiti. And it's, just, it's a complete catastrophe. I know. God only knows what. So, I, yeah. I mean, but I don't think, you know, obviously, I don't think Ken Paxton's calling for something like that. But it does. No, no, no. He's yeah. not. Yeah. And he's not. And he, and he mentioned just standing up and fighting. Look, we all stand up, uh, stand up every day to, to argue on behalf of the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. But it, like, it, it does feel like this is something we've talked about a few times, Glenn. It does feel like we have the courts in the way of catastrophe and then that's it. And I, and I, I, I constantly go back to that Sheriffs. and feel like, gosh, just, just a couple of people really standing in the way now of, of, of losing our republic. I mean, you've talked about it hanging by a thread many, many times. It feels like we're kind of there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we are... <clears throat> We're the Constitution's hanging by a thread and we're in a scissors factory. <laughs> and the guy rushing to save it is Edward Scissor Hands. I mean, we're not really in a stable place. I don't know if you missed that. <laughs> that is the perfect analysis as to where we are as a country. Uh, hanging by a thread with Edward Scissor Hands coming to save us. Uh, can't say it better than that. Glenn Beck.